Okay, here we are at Forge Creek, Mountain City. It has rained all day yesterday, drizzling today, calling for 100% today. But I've got a friend that's wanting to get some fish. Uh, actually, we're taking them back to Kentucky. So when the water's like this, the first bait I'll go with, and I'm fishing this on a jig head because we're going to go up the creek and get a few, is glaze orange. I like this bright color in the creeks. Uh, if you don't know how to do it on a jig head, I'm showing you right now. <clears throat> Just like that. So let's see if we can get a couple. We're going to try to limit out. I'm fishing by myself today. Everybody else didn't want to fish. And I can see why. The water's a little stingy, but uh, it's actually not rolling mud, but it's dingy. And what I'm trying to do is just coax that jig down through there. There used to be a lot of fish in this hole. I don't know if there's going to be any left. There's a lot of trash and stuff from people fishing worms. Yesterday, this probably was probably clear. And as the day went on, it probably got worse. So we're just seeing what we can do. May have to walk up the creek. There's one. Oh, missed it. I'm trying to hit him quick. That way, if we get small ones, uh, they don't swallow it. But that was a good sign there. It felt pretty good. Didn't feel like a, a wild bow at all. And I'm using this 116th, or yeah, 116th. But I might be going down to a 132nd because the water really isn't that bad up there. So let's try that one again. The good thing about these Appalachian dough baits, when they come off, they go to the bottom, they keep the scent right there. So kind of keeps your fish saying, yeah, there's something good that smells good in there. So there he is. There's he is. Yeah, I got him. And I'm, I'm using a straight six pound pea line leader this morning too. And like I said, that's, that's, that's a small fish. We're gonna let that one go. We're looking for something we can get a little meat on. Turn that drag up a little bit. There we go. But, uh, that's what we're looking for, but just a little bit bigger, nice little rainbow. And you can see that we got him right in the roof of the mouth. Come here, Junior Johnson. And not gonna see a lot of colors in that muddy water, I'll tell you that much. But I don't like to handle my fish. There you go, and I'm leaving the net in the car today because I I don't think I'm going to encounter any big fish. Might get a goldie, but as far as big fish, no. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's see if we can get us another one. Blaze orange. I'm just throwing it out there on that jig head, just bringing it up and down off the bottom. Hopefully he gets in front of one and he'll say, yep, that's what I want. There's one. Another one. Oh, small. Now that's them, uh, that's some little wild bows that's up in here. Uh, let me wet my hands. We'll probably look at this one. There we go. But uh, as you can see, lay still, little buddy. That's your little, got your little bars that's disappearing from it, but 
beautiful little fish and uh like him we're gonna let him go too there you go pretty easy so if you're you're in a wild water where there's a trout the wild rainbows the wild brook trout browns they all love it now browns i've caught most of my browns on uh roadkill just seems like there's something about that that they like but you can catch them on all of them i've caught them on all of them but the browns especially they like the roadkill let's try again let's go a little further back this time maybe we'll get one of them left over 18 or 19 inches that's in here i don't know if they're in here or not but they was two weeks ago I caught a couple of them and turned them back. There should surely be another one in there. There he is. Not laying where I suspect him, but another one. You know, just coming up here and fishing this hole and catching three that quick, that's pretty good. There might be more left. Come here, you bro. He had it for a while. That's going to be a keeper because he swallowed it. Usually, I wasn't for sure if I was hung on the bottom or what, but he swallowed that down. So that's going to be a keeper for us. So while I get this one off, we'll see what we can do. There's a bite. There's the goldie. There he is. There's the goldie. And I hit him quick, folks. I hit him quick. I knew he was in there. What he did when I caught that last big one, he was, uh, he moved over in this deeper water. He must've got spooked. But yeah, beautiful fish. Please be in the top of the lip. I don't want to keep you, buddy. Please be in the top. Oh, he's getting great colors. And he is in the top of the lip. It's a male. We'll get down here, get my hands wet, and we're going to show you this fish. Beautiful fish. Come on. I'm going to let you go. I don't want to hurt you. Come on. Come on, bad boy. Look at that, boys and girls. Look at that. And guess what Alan's going to do? Alan's gonna let you go. That's a good 17 inches. Male, old hook jaw. Right there. Let him go. <laughs> That's my trip. That's my trip. He's laying right there, disappearing into the dark. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Blaze orange, folks. I mean, we're having a heck of a morning. I mean, we got two nice fillet trouts. One probably 16 and a half the other one maybe eight 19 inches he's pretty good fish and we caught a goldie oh you know sometimes god just smiles down on you he just does he really smiles on you every day but some days he just makes extra special and you just feel it you just feel it oh I don't care if I catch another fish out of this hole. I've done what I wanted to do. I got my goldie. And we're going to walk on down the creek. 